<laughs> Let's get a look at what's going on as we see this live view of the Golden Gate Bridge. It is a nice start to our Friday. Hopefully you have plans to get out there and enjoy it. Although as you are heading out, we are starting out with sunshine now, but we have all of this happening to the north of us with a storm system that's bringing some rain across far northern California. Now some of this rain may make it down to Ukiah, but that looks like it's going to be the extent of where we see some rain. If you're in the South Bay, you're heading out for a hike this afternoon. It's going to be nice, but you'll notice more clouds moving in as we go into today. So we're starting out at noon, partly cloudy right now, but notice that it does become mostly cloudy as our temperatures reach into the mid 60s. And then as we head to the South Bay for a look at the rest of our high temperatures for today, East San Jose will reach up to about 68 degrees. And we'll see about the same in Gilroy today. And for the East Bay, our high temperatures in the mid 60s in Danville and Fremont reaching 67. And check out the seven day forecast. It's already up at the bottom of the screen. The peninsula today reaching 64 in San Mateo and in Redwood City and San Francisco will reach into the mid 60s downtown as well as in the Mission District. Our North Bay highs will once again be a little bit cooler because of the showers that may be moving farther to the north, but we're looking at some sunshine and temperatures reaching about 66 degrees in Sonoma. There is so much going on this weekend. Maybe you'll have a chance to check out the ice rink that just opened in San Francisco at Union Square. This is a usual tradition that we have to celebrate the opening of the holiday season. And so we're going to see more clouds tomorrow and temperatures there reaching into the low 60s. It looks really nice for that. And then for the end of the weekend, we've got the home 49ers game and it's an early afternoon game. So at kickoff will be at about the upper 60s in Santa Clara and then at halftime, some mid 60s, but really nice weather and a mix of sun and clouds. So here's what's ahead going into next week. We'll see another storm system coming in, moving in on Monday. So this one looks to bring us some pretty decent rainfall totals, and we'll see more of that heading into Tuesday as well. This is some what one computer model is showing, and they're still kind of going back and forth with how much rain we'll see. This one putting down some pretty decent amounts, so it looks like we could see possibly two inches of rain in Santa Rosa and about an inch and a half in spots like Napa, closer to Mill Valley and San Francisco, and then about a half of an inch of rain for the spots like the Inland East Bay and the South Bay may get a little bit more. So it does look good there, and hopefully this storm system holds together to bring us those decent rainfall totals. I like it too that it's not during our weekend. So we're going to be watching our temperatures in the 60s. Of course, we fall back. We set our clocks back one hour on Sunday morning, and we'll be adjusting to the time change because on Sunday evening, the sun sets shortly after 5 o'clock, and then we'll have those earlier sunrises for early next week and more clouds. And once again, those scattered showers arriving on Monday into Tuesday. It does look like it clears out by Wednesday and Thursday is all nice and sunny. And for San Francisco, we do have more cool temperatures in the forecast, especially once that rain arrives on Monday, and we'll see only some highs in the low 60s for Monday and Tuesday.